Hi, this is Bonnie Francis, and this is the Seasoned Adult Show. I have Bonnie Walters with us, and we give you the update of what's happening at our senior centers in Queen Anne's County. We have three senior centers, in case you don't know, Southersville, um, Graysonville, and Ken Island. So they've all started their summer session, and this runs from July through October. Correct. So what do we have going on at the senior centers, Bob? Well, there's, there's still time possibly to sign up for some of the classes. Um, there's, the classes basically have um, instructors that come from Chesapeake College, and that's why the sign up and that's why there's a small fee. There are other things that happen in the senior centers that there is no charge that you can certainly still do and you can kind of just drop, drop in, in and do. Mm -hmm. um, most of the centers, all three, are doing some type of a, uh, an exercise program like a DVD on the big screen TV. Um, There's a three mile. A three mile, it's equivalent to a three mile walk. Yeah. Uh, the first mile kind of gets you going. Uh, and while they're, they're, you're kind of walking in place, but you're also doing all kinds of exercises with it. The second mile, the one particularly that I'm familiar with, um, they will actually do some instructions or some um, walking with the weights kind of thing. And that's kind of the upscaled one. So some people will come and do mile one. They'll take into a drink a break. break for yeah. mile two and then they jump back <laughs> in for mile three. Again, you know, anything you do, you do is better than nothing. Right. So you do what, right. what you can in your own piece. Because I said to a couple of people, don't worry about it. So now for mile two, it's no big deal. Nobody's, nobody's watching. Well, and the socialization is just yeah, as exactly. important as the exercise you're getting. Right. So, um, and the centers, all three of them, have the exercise room that people yes. can come in. Yes. And, and, and we're, work uh, at their own. Right. And Graceville does have someone coming in once a month to show you how to use the machines. I believe Ken Island does as well once a month. Um, and I know the one that does... Um, at Graceville is very good about <clears throat> showing people different uh, types of exercise you can do on some of the machines. Uh, if you're what it actually at, works well, on, what yeah, muscles. What and, muscle, right. Thank you. Yeah. Couldn't get that through. And, and again, we joke about it, but there's bingo all the time in all yeah. three centers. Yeah. Um, so if that's your thing, that's not a problem. Uh, can I own place for, for uh, money? Um, Graceville and, and uh, Southern will pay for what we call pantry items. So it's what, what it's, you know what you kind of want to do how you want to do it so it's something for everybody yeah um, the other thing between the gym being open all the time is the computer rooms right they are updated computers with Windows 7 at all three centers and we have Wi-Fi in the center as well so we're very fortunate thanks to our commissioners for yeah. for doing that for us and the other thing is we have um, bridges played both at Ken Island and Graysonville and Mahjong is played both at Graysonville and Ken Island and um, Southersville has a card and game day uh, after lunch every day, I believe. So it's just really what's your fancy, where right. you want to go and what you want to do. Um, if you see a women's journal, the new magazine, and I apologize for not having one with me today, but all the classes are advertised in the women's journal for all three centers, so you can take a look with uh, contact information. Right. So you can take a look at that. Uh, Picking and Grinning, we haven't mentioned oh, yeah. that for a while. Picking and Grinning yeah. still going strong on Thursday night at, at Southersville. Um, I believe it starts at 6.30 to 9.30. There's no more meal. Um, I believe they still have dessert. They didn't cut out dessert. So they take turns baking things. Well, and people love bringing. to go up there and dance. Yes. Well, the one time I went, I thought, like, why is everybody getting in line at 8 o'clock? Like, the world was stopping at 8 o'clock. They're all getting in line to go get the homemade dessert and cup ah. of coffee, take a break from dancing. And then, then they started back up again. So a um, couple trips coming up a little later on in um, but you have to sign them quick or you lose out. Um, if you want to talk about the one that's Sure, at I'll go over that. We have a cruise and crab feast going on September 16th. It says it's $71.25 per person. Um, you leave at 8.30 in the morning from Ken Island Senior Center. It's called River, Boat, or River Cruise All-You-Can-Eat Crab Feast, Old Salty Restaurant on Hooper's Island. Um, the boat is named the Sawyer and you're on the Hoga River. I don't know where the Hoga River is. I, I have Down to there check. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to check that out. See on the map where Hooper's Island is and see where that river is. Um, the events is going to be observing ospreys, blue herons, white egrets, and bald eagles. Captain Dave entertains you with facts and legends of the Chesapeake Bay and its watermen. 
and then you enjoy a two-hour all-you-can-eat crab feast including steamed shrimp, chicken, and side items including your drinks of iced tea. So if you're interested in the cruise and crab feast September 16th, call the Ken Island Senior Center at 410-604-3801. Okay. Uh, other, and we we're talking into October, and I believe this is a Columbus Day. So, for some of you folks that are working, and you can be any age to go yeah. on a trip. And we talk about the classes, and to use the senior center, you have to be 60 or what we call spouse eligible. So, if you're not quite 60, but your husband is, or your wife is, either way, um, you're considered spouse eligible. But on a trip, anybody can go on the trips. Right. So, just want to make sure we people understand that. Um, they're doing a Pennsylvania Shop Hop and Harvest Days Festival in October 10th and 11th. Uh, they'll be leaving bright and early at 6.30 in the morning from Ken Island. And they will be having breakfast at Shady Maple Restaurant. If any have been to Shady yeah. Maple, yeah. everybody jumps at that. I mean, the food. Yeah. You need a nap after you go to Shady Maple because you just fill up because it's all so good. Uh, then they're going to a Landis um, Valley uh, Village Harvest Day Festival. A lot of craft items on um, you're getting up there with your um, Mennonite folks who make all handmade things um, they're then going to uh, they'll have a welcome reception at the Homewood Suites apparently I've not been in there but they say that the rooms are really nice fireplaces the whole bit they love the room um, and they'll be doing that and it's 155 per person yeah, it's double occupancy double occupancy right, right. they're also stopping at uh, at Wilbert Chocolates. Uh, this is definitely um, one of those literally shop. Oh, they're not don't going be on a diet going on that No, trip. they're not going to yeah. the outlets, but they're going to some of the, the hot spots, some of the little villages that have the quaint different items that you can't find in an everyday shop kind of thing. Um, they uh, are going to dinner uh, is on your own, but it's a buca. That is amazing. It's a great Italian restaurant, and they even take you tours through the kitchen. Wow. Um, yeah. It's family style dining, so if you have a group of eight sitting at a table, you order three dishes, trust me, you still have leftovers. I mean, they give you full and plenty, and the food is amazing. And uh, the second day, uh, as I said, you'll go to Lannis, and then you'll go to Outbacks on the way home. So it's just to go have a good time, some socialization, get away on a holiday if you have Columbus Day off. Uh, now, meal-wise, what is on your own? Is the Outback on your own? The Outback is on your own and Puka is on your own. So you have breakfast at Shady Maple. Um, that's included. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if there's breakfast uh, the second morning or not at the hotel. It doesn't say. All right. But that's, uh, Ken Island is doing that one as well. So you can call Betty Robinson at 410-604-3801 for that one. And then thinking a little further along, you know, we all said we had such a cold winter, none of us would complain about heat. Ha ha. How many people have you talked to this? oh, I can't stand this heat and it's going to be 95 and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, okay. it's going to be a All right, a so hot think summer. a little cool. Um, Graysonville just booked um, a New York show for on Wednesday, November 11th. They're going to see Amazing Grace. And I understand it's about... How it's the original music based on a true story about the gentleman that was inspired to write the song. That's an interesting story. Yes, Mike and yes. I saw a documentary on him, and and he talks to some of the people in the senior centers when we've gone, and you know, just so many people know it was Robert Newton that wrote it, right? But they didn't realize he was a captain on a slave trade ship and well, professed to be a Christian. Yes, and, and I understand through working with the slaves, he actually mm -hmm. turned it around yes. from a slave trader and actually became a great uh, helper to the slaves mm -hmm. and helped take care of them, helped them find other means. His, his eyes were open. He yes. was lost and now he's found. Yeah. He was blind, now he sees. sees? Yeah. The actual oh, lyrics, <laughs> the lyrics of the song is what happened in his life. Yes, so that'll be an awesome, awesome play to go see. And again, we're seeing it on, on in New York, which is the ultimate to go. So, uh, It's so November 11th, Veterans Day? In November, yep, November 11th, Veterans Day. So again, for folks at work, have off. It gives you a chance to be able to go. Uh, again, anybody can go on the trips. Um, and I believe, let me just double check here. I apologize for not reading it sooner. Um, they will go to um, at this diner. It's in New Jersey, right outside of Pennsylvania. Uh, is it Mastro, uh, Mastro's? 
I'm not I'm sure. Saying. Anyway, the food, everybody comes out with the doggy bag. That's another place that gives you such big helpings and whatever. So they'll so stop there. So what time do they leave Graysonville? Uh, they'll leave Graysonville at 8 o'clock. 8.30, they'll stop at Sellersville. They'll do a quick stop at 9.15 at the Delaware House. And they'll arrive in New York around 12.15, going right to the show. Okay. Um, I believe because the show starts at 2 o'clock. So by the time they get there, get situated and what have you, you'll have a chance maybe to grab a quick bite uh, on your own. And then they'll leave uh, New York at 5 o'clock. They'll go right over to 6.30 to get your, um, your dinner on your own and then they'll be back between 9.45 to 10.15 to Sellersville and Graceville. That would be a good show um, to see. I know that this was just printed out the other day and there's already 10 people on the list. So it'll go What's very quickly. What's the price? 150 Okay. And you just need a deposit of $50 when you first sign up. So that's November, so think cool. Yeah. And the other big trip uh, going on is next spring. It is the last week of May, first week of July. No, last week of May. No, I skipped the whole month there. Yeah. Last week of May, first <laughs> week of June. And they're taking a cruise out of Baltimore. Um, and going north, and right? And going north for right. a change. So they will do Boston, uh, Portland, Maine, Bar Harbor, Maine, and then they'll do St. John's and Halifax and have a couple fun days at sea to rest up on your way back to Baltimore. Hopefully they'll eat a lobster somewhere along the line. Well, yes. and uh, Well, I'm, with the cruise ship, it's yeah, hard to say. I'm sure you'll have some good meals there on the cruise. So um, this will be a great trip. I understand. We joked about it. Um, if any of you have gone to any of the uh, dance classes at the centers, Anne-Marie Dahl, her husband's retiring this year. And now he works as a, a, a war, not a waterman, but he's on a ship that does a lot of dredging and what have you. So we were telling her, I said, oh, why don't you take Rick on the cruise? Just don't tell him where you're going, you know, back on the boat. But she is, we've made plans. They've reserved a um, lounge. She's going to do ballroom dance classes. Oh, that'll for be For anybody wonderful. that's going on this cruise from, you know, right. it's part of the cruise from our group um, for free, you know, just for fun. So that when you get in Have the lounge, a social event. yeah, and when you get in the yep. lounge tonight, you can dazzle them all the other people on the ship. So they have rooms reserved. They they are filling up. So and it's Royal Caribbean. And ship. it's Royal Caribbean going out. Uh, Anne and I actually took a tour of the ship. They refurbished it. Lovely trip. Food was good. So I think it'll be a good time. I was already to sign up, and then I realized I have a grandson graduating that week, so I Ooh. can't go, and I was yeah. not happy. But I wouldn't miss his graduation. So we'll go another time, but. It's very different. I think they're only doing two cruises um, out to the, in the spring going north. Usually it's right. always in the fall. Right. So it should be a little bit warmer. And they have an adult pool with jacuzzi. So you, and they also have a kid pool, you know, family pool. So right. really a nice ship. So I think it'll be a nice time. And again, you know, if you're interested in a class, again, remember the classes go from July to October. So right. you can probably still sign up. So go into one of the centers to get... Well, if you've been away before the sign-up was a couple weeks ago, make sure you get in and take advantage. And that's Good kind of seeing what's you again. You Thanks for the info. No and problem. Come on out and see us at the centers. Huh? It's nice and cool in there. Yeah. If you, need, if you need some relief from the hot weather, come and see us. Have a good day.